Lovecraft Country. So this time I'm going to start with Marcus. Where are you with oh, this Lord, show? Half of us. Ooh. Um, <laughs> I like some things. I appreciate what it's doing for Black people being able to like to investigate our history. I just wish that it went about some things a different way. And then as a Black person, there's some stuff I just don't, I just don't need. Like, I don't, I don't need to sit here and watch somebody grandma being burned alive. Like, I, I, don't, I don't need to see that. I don't need to see no white woman reenacting, especially, especially, and I'm trying to get upset, especially as somebody from Mississippi, I don't need to see some white woman being killed like Emmett Till. And, ooh, you know, apologies to who, if we got white viewers, but I did not need to watch that. And then you cut to, you know, Tick um, beating up these extraordinarily racist white, well, white folk. And you're cutting away from them getting beat up. Like, so you're going to show me this, this, oh, this somebody grandma getting burnt alive and like force me to sit here and watch her body turn black and like her, the pieces of her body start to fall off. But when it comes time to, be, to beat these white folks' ass, you cut away from it. Uh-uh. Hmm. Uh-uh. The overarching story is just not really present or it's just kind of thrown in there. Mm-hmm. I feel it's like here, it's really here when they want it to be. Right. You're like, don't forget, this is what we're really focusing about, but we're going to focus on something completely different for the next 50 minutes. Exactly. But this is important, but we're going to come back to that. Exactly. But I think what we can t- we keep talking about is why do they do certain things in this story? Like why why are we seeing a lot of this gratuitous violence or why are we seeing certain scenes um that are just thrown in there that really don't have much of a point. And I feel like it's that they're going for what I'm calling like emotional nuggets, these emotional, they're just trying to push buttons and not really tell a story. Um, And I think I even tweeted this. I said, you know, there are some shows where it seems the creators and writers feel like they have to touch on all things to make the audience happy or to make up for what's missing in mm-hmm. media today. And I said, mm-hmm. you know, specifically black creators um, or creators of color. Um, and I think that it ends up watering down the hole. Um, and my example for this was, and you may not agree, but my example for this was Pose, because that was another one that I felt like, at least season two, where- It was all over the place. They, yeah, they sacrificed the main story for these little bits of emotional outbursts for Twitter moments or, you know, for, you know, it's just. Hmm. We live for the trending topics, for the Twitter moments, because that's what gets people talking. That's what gets eyes on the show, movie, whatever, what have you. And that's what we kind of chasing. I'm just going to speak specifically for like black creators, like. A lot of times we don't know when we're going to get another shot. So we're going to try to make as big of a mark as we possibly can yeah. with the shot that we have. And I get that. I understand that. I understand what motivates you to do that. But like you said, it works so much better when you have a directed focus. Um, with same, And I think Pose does fall under a lot of, a lot of that sort of uh, scrutiny. Is that the word I want? whatever pose does kind of fall under that because like they talked about wanting to address you know the issues that um that affect trans women Mm -hmm. and i get that i understand that and it makes sense but i think in trying to do that they didn't know exactly how to do it because i maintain that Killing off candy was a oh spoilers for Pose. Sorry, people. Hello. <laughs> um, Hello. Um, killing off her was not the way to do that, and a, a large reason of that is because we were not candy was given the space to make that really resonate the way that I think that they wanted it. Thank you. Um, and it mm-hmm. really it hurts my it hurts my heart to say that because I love Angelica Ross, mm-hmm. but she was not given the space to do what she needed what what she could have done. I'm gonna say to really make that character resonate the way that it should have for that storyline to fit. And I think a lot of that is also shows up in Lovecraft Country. Like you want to do this, you want to do that, you want to say this, you want to show this thing, but mm-hmm. you're not, 
you're not leading to that point. You're not getting us to where we can get that, where we can say that, where we can feel that. There's so much television now. Seasons are so <laughs> much shorter. I wonder if part of that too is it's like, we got to give you everything. Just like you said, though, in case we don't get another shot, in case you don't come back for season two. Like, but it, it, it's, I hate it because it sacrifices story sometimes. Because yes. honestly, the first half of this season, I was not sure what the hell we were doing. Yeah, Like I watched same. the first episode and I was like, okay, I know what we're doing. The second episode came on and I was like, okay, I was wrong. <laughs> and the third episode came and I'm still not following. <laughs> like, right. Because even the episode with, um, shit, what is her name? Was it Jiha? I think the yes. Korean nurse. Mm-hmm. I loved, well, I really enjoyed the episode. I won't say loved. I really enjoyed the episode. But if we don't see her again, what did that have to do with it? Why did we waste 50 minutes? <laughs> 